morning class. So happy to see you today. It's our first habitat today. I'm so glad that you're here. This might be my favorite habitat too. I love space and that's what we're going to be learning about. Oh my goodness, it'll be so fun. Everybody stand up. Stand up and sing with me. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. We're so glad you're here. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and Welcome to laugh today, rise and shine and welcome to laugh today. We're so glad you're here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so space, learning about space. What do you know about space? Have you gone outside and looked up at the night sky and seen the stars up there? That's kind of what space is. Space is when we're studying all about where the stars are, the planets, there's comets, meteors, there's space junk like asteroids, there's solar systems, galaxies, nebula, all of these things out are, are where space is and that's what we get to learn about it's so cool now there's such a thing as deep space and that is when you are looking up and it's all of the space in between the planets and the stars and the galaxies it's all that space in between in fact it's invisible we can't see it, we can't smell it, we can't hear it, we can't taste it, and we can't touch it, we can't touch deep space. It's just up there. And the way that we know about it is because scientists look through, what's that big long tube that they look through that magnifies the distance, it, it helps us to see what's way out there. Can you say telescope, telescope? So they look through a telescope and then they can see what's out there. And over time, we've been able to see farther and farther and farther into space. It used to be that we didn't get to see that far into space. And now it's amazing what we can see, it's so, so cool. Did you know that a star, when you look up, what do you think of? We know that we know to call that little light up there a star, all those little lights. Does it really look like this? Does it look like this shape? It's actually a big, huge ball of glowing gas. That's what stars are. So we look up and we see a light, but now you know it's a huge, big ball of glowing gas. And there's something called a nebula. Can you say nebula? A nebula is a huge cloud of dust and gas. And this is actually where stars are born. So when there's a nebula out in space, then scientists can watch it and watch it and then they can see eventually a star being born. Isn't that so cool? Everybody say nebula, nebula. So that's how stars are born. Now, let's say we look up and we see a big, huge group of stars traveling around. So it's a big family of stars that's traveling around and that's called a galaxy, a galaxy, and we live in the Milky Way galaxy. So let's think about this. A universe is all of space. It's everything in space, but inside of the universe, there's different galaxies, families of stars, 
And ours, our family of stars is called the Milky Way Galaxy. So in the Milky Way Galaxy, way inside the Milky Way Galaxy, then we can find our planet, our solar system, and inside our solar system, our planet, and our planet is called Earth, right? So that's amazing that we get to learn about the universe and about galaxies. I'm gonna tell you a story about how we got our name, the Milky Way Galaxy, okay? So this is actually a Cherokee legend. The Cherokees were Indians and they, they still um, keep some of these legends and they pass them along. Well, this is what explains how we got our Milky Way galaxy. So, there was a village long time ago, and back in that day, the villagers, the Indians, they needed corn to live on. So they planted corn, they dried the corn, and then they stored the corn. And then once that corn was all dry, then in the winter time, when they didn't have a chance to get fresh crops, then they would take their dry corn and they would get a big stick and a big hollow tree and their stick and they would pound it, pound it, pound it, and that corn would break up into teeny tiny tiny pieces and it would make flour. So they would have corn flour, corn grain. And so then they would sometimes do a whole bunch at once and put it in their storage room. Well, here they needed their corn in the winter and one day this man and this woman who lived in the village, they went to go into their storage room and they noticed that there was a bunch of cornmeal that was spread out, spread around by the bag. And they were like, oh, wait a minute, because in their village, nobody stole from each other. And so they wondered, and then they saw that there were paw prints in the cornmeal. And they were like, oh, and they weren't just any paw prints, they were huge. And so they knew that it was probably an incredible type of animal. They immediately alerted the villagers and told everybody. And so they all got together and they, they after telling them what happened, the villagers decided it must be a spirit dog from another world. And so they decided to scare him away because they didn't want him in the village. So they got things like anything that would make noise beating sticks together or pots and pans and they got everything and they hid around by the baskets of cornmeal and they waited and they waited for that spirit dog to come. Well, suddenly they heard a whirring, a whooshing of, sounded kind of like bird wings, whooshing in and in comes the spirit dog and starts eating huge mouthfuls of the cornmeal. So they jumped up and they made so much noise and they scared him so bad it sounded like thunder. It was so loud. And they chased him down the path. The dog raced down the path and the villagers chased after him making as much noise as they possibly could. And the dog ran up the hill and jumped into the air and ran across the sky. And as he ran across the sky, there was cornmeal that came spilling out of his mouth and it just left a trail of cornmeal across the sky. And each grain of the cornmeal became a star. And that is how the Milky Way was made. Isn't that cool? That's kind of a fun story. Do you think that it's real? Or do you think it's pretend? Hmm. Because it's a Cherokee legend. And we know actually legends are pretend. So they're stories of how things could have, they're explaining things that people didn't really know the scientific way that it happened. And so, they would explain it through a story. And we know that it's pretend because it's kind of crazy enough that it really couldn't happen in real life. So that's how we know that thing, when things are 
are pretend. And so legends or folk tales, these are stories that maybe aren't true, but they're kind of fun to hear. Um, and it was, there are a lot of them out there. So this one was one that explained about which, which galaxy? Which galaxy did it explain how it became? Can you say Milky Way? The Milky Way galaxy, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about the story. Who was the thief that came to the village? Did you say spirit dog? Yeah, that's right. It was a spirit dog that came. What about, how did they scare him away? What did they do? They got their noisemakers and they scared him and made it so loud that it scared him away and he didn't come back, right? What is the group of stars that the cornmeal became? What, what was the... What was that little family of stars called? Can you say the Milky Way galaxy? The Milky Way galaxy, that's awesome. So that's our galaxy. We live in the Milky Way. Earth is in, in, the, in our solar system and our solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy. So that's awesome. Okay, now we are learning a, a new letter today. Do you see it behind me? This is a t. Can you say t? This makes a t sound. So when we talk about our letters, instead of saying the name of the letter, I'm going to call it by its sound. Okay, so this makes a t sound. You might know that it's a t, but I'm going to call it a t because I want everybody to know their sounds so super good. So this is a t. So the way that you make a t is you do a tall down and let's think about when we're doing it let's think about our rules okay so we have our green on the top this goes with our with our writing sleeve our green line on the top so we're going to always start from the top and go down and then it goes yellow in the middle so we slow down when it comes to the middle and then when we get to the bottom we stop stop we don't want it to go below the the, the red line because then it's sloppy so we do we're gonna do our best and not go under the red line okay so up here I'm gonna show you this is a tall down a slide across and uh, almost a tall down and another slide across. Do you remember what sound it makes? T. So what are some things that start with T? Can you think of one? The way scientists look and see way out into space? What's that called? Can you say telescope? Telescope. What about a turtle, T turtle. On our writing page, today you're gonna get one of these and you're gonna use your pencil with your writing page and your tapper fingers, your pointer and your thumb and then your other ones just come right in so make sure you're holding it right and you're gonna practice. Tall down, slide across. And you're gonna just follow the tracing marks. Tall down, slide across. Tall down, slide across. Now, are we gonna go down below that, that line? No, because that's our red line. So we, we don't wanna go below. Tall down, slide across. Tall down, slide across. Tall down, slide across. Tall down, slide across. Then you're gonna do it all by yourself. And just do your best. If it's ugly or it's not perfect, that's okay. We're just trying our best. We all make mistakes and that's what this paper is for us to practice. Tall down, slide across, tall down, slide across, tall down, slide across. And then we do our capital ones. So these are our small ones and these ones are our capitals. And the capitals are like what your name starts with. We always start your name with the big letter. And the rest of your name is not the big letters. We do use the small letters. But the first letter 
in your name is always going to be a capital. That's because you're important. That's a pronoun, and we, we capitalize pronouns. So this one's tall down, slide across, tall down, slide across, tall down, slide across, all the way across, and then all by yourself, tall down, slide across, just the way you practice to the other ones, tracing. So t turtle starts with a t. What else starts with a t? What else? What about terrain? What about tag? What about top? Or like spinning a top? What about tail? A little doggy tail. What about tick? Tick. Sometimes those little bugs can get on animals and it's a tick. Or a test. A test starts with a t. What, have you ever dug a tunnel in the sand? Tunnel. What if I said, oh, that was terrible. Terrible, t, terrible, starts with a t. Think about other things that start with a t. Here we have another paper that you get to do, and this one's so cool, because you get to see what the objects are. Clown, does that start with a t? Turtle, does turtle start with a t? You're gonna circle all the ones that start with a t. You can color them if you want. So turtle, whistle, top, alligator, toothbrush, ship, and toaster. So you get to think about which ones start with t and circle them and then show your mom and see, she'll let you know if you got them right. That's so cool. Okay, and then this one if you want to, our telescope page to color and telescope starts with a t, doesn't it? Yes. And then you can also practice your name one time and practice your letter parts one time and that'll be great. Okay, we are going to work on our numbers. One more time, let's see if you can get them before me. Yes, you got that before me, one, good. Six, five, two, three, four, they're in order. And one, back to one, good job, okay. Mm, let's count. We're going to count to 20. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are you getting these ones right? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can't hear you. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. I hope those are getting easier. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and it's time to go. We're going to learn about tons more space stuff though in the next few days. I'm so excited. Are you ready to everybody say, I work hard. I work hard. Say, I am awesome. I am awesome. Okay. I'll see you next time.